Hello friends. This is my new accessory that I bought this um, minor hat GoPro thing. I bought this to complete the motorcycle project but uh, it came too late so here it is. We're starting the caravan project. First of all this is official now. Parallaxvisuals.space check me out. So, this is the caravan. It's a Alpine Sprite GL from the 80s, I think. Alpine Sprite GL. It's a one berth caravan, if I'm not mistaken. Three meters by two meters. Um, we, we bought it like this. For 150 pounds from this guy. Yeah, exactly. um, um, the only damage that it has outside is this window is broken. But I'm planning to either block it or change it. So that's um, that's gonna be gone. What I did was I actually cleaned the the top bit and installed a 215 what solar panel uh, that's that was exciting uh, I'll bring a ladder and I'll show you here's the solar panel this is a proper one from Victron Energy I installed it like two days ago it's quite cool when I measured it when I finished um, in the evening the measurement showed me 22 volts or something in the evening and then I measured it daytime on proper daytime and it was like 45 volts coming out of it I don't know how many amps uh, the charge controller that I have for it is a Victron Energy MPPT 75-15 uh, God knows what 75 means, but 15 means it can charge 15 amps max. Charge my battery 15 amps max. Um, it's a really cool controller. You've got a Bluetooth dongle that you can connect to the phone and see everything about the state of charge. And uh, with that later, this is how it looks inside the caravan. We already started stripping it. Um, this foam bit, this polystyrene bit, is stuck to the to the outside wall, the aluminum wall. That probably looks like this. These need changing. They're gone. Um, the previous owner said to me that it was leaking before, and he replaced this. He obviously didn't change the the wood beams. It's not leaking inside at the moment, which is great. That was the decision-making uh, factor when I bought it. Um, yeah, that's it. Let the demolition derby begin. One thing odd about this caravan is it's built from the outside in. So, uh, you see stuff like this. This was put in before the actual aluminum went on it uh, because it's not leaking I don't want to remove any of the body shells so I'm making it inside out kind of so the other way the outside in, no the, the inside out yeah so it was built from the inside and then covered with this. There's those loads of things stapled to the wall from the outside. And now I'm building it. I'm leaving the outside intact, building the inside, which is counterintuitive. But I'll have to, you know, man's gotta do it, man's gotta do it. All this stuff is rotten. All of these need to go. Like, 
all of this stuff needs to go because it's it's just rotten. Now notice there's a curvature they did to these uh, ceiling bits, probably to keep the ceiling not collapsing and to keep the water flow going outwards. So I'll have to not destroy one of these and mimic the curvature. The curvature was lost here, here and there. Actually it wasn't lost there. This had the curvature also. It was lost here just. Alright. Another interesting thing, counterintuitive and plain old stupid I would say. Is this is where the wires ran before. I don't know why they didn't just do a hole shove the wires in the hole so they don't fall down I mean I did this here, these are the wires from the solar panel holes man now because because it's a trend now with people making caravans and things um, these things are really expensive so one toilet like this Cost around 200 something pounds. I know on eBay I was bidding on it on one, and I just said fuck it when it went to 260 pounds. I was like, bro, this is insane. There's no way I'm paying that much money for a flipping toilet. Now this, Paulina found it on Facebook Marketplace. It's in really good condition. It's used. I know that's weird, but we're gonna proper pressure wash it before using it this is a um, Tedford porta potty cassette thingy um, it was advertised as electronic flush but it's obviously not it's manual flush uh, these things are extremely expensive also like this one I managed to get it for free, the guy gave it to me for free, which is so nice of him. But there's a catch. It's quite broken. Now I'm hopeful that I can fix this breakage. If not, this is useless. But I think I can fix it. Some epoxy resin, some super duper gorilla tape here. It's not hopeless, not hopeless at all. Um, and the guy had a fridge also, a 240 slash 12 slash gas fridge, which them fridges cost fucking 200 something pounds also on eBay. I don't know why they cost more than a stupid fridge in a house, really. Um, but yeah, that's this. The layout we were thinking about for now is to have the shower tray there with possibly a cabin, a shower cabin here. Not sure what to do with a half and half a window. I was initially thinking to... Well, the initial plan was to have a bathtub here. But then the grey water uh, tank came into my mind, which I didn't think about. So you can't just dump water in places. You have to have a gray water tank. And a bathtub, if you ha even if you have a half-size bathtub, that's 100 liters. So technically, fill that up and you need to have a gray water tank of 100 liters to take one bath. Which, yeah, it's, um, it's not okay. It's too much. I don't even know where to put that, maybe under the floor somehow, maybe I'll build one, I don't know yet, but that, that should happen, that will happen. Uh, so shower tray, it is then, <laughs> uh, with the shower box here, bang bang, I'm thinking since that window is broken, maybe replace it and make it bigger, replace it with this one. Or just replace it with anyone really make the hole bigger and just have a window there but then the shower thingy will be in here 
Paulina was suggesting having the shower thingy in the middle but then that's gonna eat up a lot of space and then you have these wheel arches which are a bit high up actually let's try it this, this might be specially designed for the wheel arches so we have a shower like that come on yeah this might be but then all this space all of this space is dead just for the shower that's not good the kitchenette unit will be here let's say it's gonna go a bit more to the wall but that's it that's all the space you have nah what we were thinking initially is having shower and so that's gonna be the bathroom section and have like a long curtain bang bang from here to there that could be a solution or and obviously matting out this window like that or we're gonna have a 90 degree curtain that goes like that here this is gonna be fixed and then just this goes in and out All right and the same for the shower this is gonna be fixed up to here and then from here you can take it in and out when you go in the shower or something we need something to keep the steam off of the caravan because steam and wood stuff doesn't really mix don't really mix now let's take this puppy out that's one of the best two next thing is removing this thingy come out like this no time for some measuring this radio is a cool radio sometimes it plays some sick ass tunes around 90 megahertz fm birmingham i don't know if i should measure it or just take it out here it is 40.1 centimeters 40 centimeters i'll say 40.5 because this is a bit close so yeah 40.5 here and if this is a square 40.5 here no yes 40.5 by 40.5 inside now let the demolition continue oh this goes off like that this might be stuck to it or might not be stuck to it here it is that's off off and that's off right there okay the interesting bit is how am I gonna fix these here Cause this is kind of rotten also obviously there's this channel to fix things on I might have to get rid of this and this yeah hopefully it's not stuck like everything else and just replace them and then use this channel to stick stuff in see what I mean everything's done from the outside in so I'll need to remove these remove this thing without breaking it clean the silicone from up there and put a new silicone in or this is for the boring part removing all these things all this stuff here I think I'll keep this side until here and that side until halfway I can just see it it's stuck to the aluminum I'll probably have to replace the other bit 
So, uh, I think all these ribbon, rib, rivets, these uh, staples, one by one, and clean the place up, clean it down there. I'll have to decide if I have to remove this floor to get in there, because we stripped the wall down to the floor level, but my, because it was so wet, and it's still wet, I think the floor goes beneath the uh, the wall goes beneath the floor, and that's why water was seeping in, 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 in. So my plan is to do something to um, seal the floor, put some silicone in there to stop water coming in, because all of these, see, all around water came in from down or through the windows there or through the door frame here and here I think this is replaced I took these off I think water is seeping through these going there going there and then going like that I think the water that came in here is through these screws. There's one screw here, and there's one here, one there, and they come from the outside, and they cut, they um, fix that aluminum frame where the awning goes in. So what I have to do is take these off and put a new plank in. Right. So those screws that I was talking about are these screws. Bam, bam. This was full of uh, crap, so give it a clean. My guess is 80% of these screws won't be removable, so um, I'll have to drill them. I'm gonna, this is the opposite wall, I'm gonna do something else while I think of that, because removing those screws from the outside, I think it's impossible because they're rusty and old and shit so I might have to wedge a screwdriver in here rip the wood out first and then cut the screws or something because there's no way these screws come up now stupid me put the solar panel up with this so um, I don't know how to remove that with here I've thought about it I could just cut it here or somewhere and join it in the wall, that's fine. So this side is okay. But that side, I'll have to get creative. Um, even if I have to cut it here, you know, with a multi-tool or something, and then rejoin it with the new wood. But this, this is not good to me, that's rotten. So uh, that's gonna have to go. Uh, the same goes for this thing, it's gonna have to go, so yeah, it should be interesting, uh, it should be interesting me tracing this and cutting it, and then on the inside also, I don't know how I'm yet I'm gonna do that, so my style is <coughs> do something else, because the brain is thinking anyway in the background, so. I'm just gonna do this. Remove all these staples from here. And then, possibly, maybe I'll get an idea. If not, I'll start sweeping this, make it all clean, and wait for the idea to come, because it's gonna come. It's just not now. Now, upon removing these pieces of wood, I keep finding these micro holes in the aluminum shell but they're like tiny holes man this like that that's a hole in there that's where water came in and they're not necessarily screw holes I don't know see that light coming through here that's a hole Look, I keep seeing holes, just random holes. There's two more here, two big ones here, whatever they were for. 
Here. Bang, bang. Okay, man. That's for rocking it. These dumbass holes. One tiny one, big. Two big. One tiny, one tiny. Two is this, but I don't know what that is. It's a hook kind of thing, but I don't know for what. This thing here. It seems to be really brittle. I might have to take it out. There's two here also. This might have something to do with the awning. My guess is. But I could probably 3D print these. So, started today's uh, day. Uh, in the morning, me clearing out all this pile of shit that came up from that caravan. So, I took it off, filled this trailer in. But now, because of this COVID fucking shit, you have to make an appointment to the skip man. And for some fucking reason, people throw stuff more often now because I don't know why and the next appointment is next week next week Monday so just filled the trailer thinking that I was gonna get rid of that and then go and see the shower unit and use the trailer to transport it but now fuck me I'm not emptying the trailer again so I can fill it back in next week right so today planning to do the door bit and this bit that is if we're not going to Kidderminster to get a shower unit I'm still deciding the door bit looks like this oh. it's pretty crap to be honest so this should be interesting there's this with one removed this is made out of three parts three aluminum sheets one, two, and then three. Here. This is my lovely assistant. Can you put this in the box? So the first door had to come off. And now the second door needs to come off. That's the first door with a hinge. Like so. And probably this thing needs to come off. Here I couldn't take it off so I had to force it out. This is a miracle. This one actually came out. Alright. Now, let the demolition continue. For this process, I'm using these high tech tools straight from NASA. A scraper. It kind of works like that if you just push it in and then work your way down it works surprisingly well so on this corner bit stays there and now it might be stuck here also so same method. There it is. It's coming off. Beautiful. Alright. Right, so I'm um, taking this floor off. Use this panel. Because it's kind of fucked up and I need to see how these walls are made. In the end, I think I'll take all the floor off. So I make it proper, but I don't want to destroy this piece because it's uh, water treated and stuff. So if I can reuse it, I'll reuse it. Yeah, I'm removing the floor. I need to cut these with an angle grinder. There's four of them. They go on the chassis. Uh, I'll probably have to remove that wire, but this will give me insight in, in uh, how is this made. In order for me to take the floor off, 
This is stapled to the floor. So I need to take these fucking staples off first. Okay, this is it with the floor off. It was not as hard as I imagined. So I might take the whole floor off. Because these are the wall panels, right? And in front of them bolted to the wall panels or to the sh chassis there's this plank so if you take this plank off then I can remove the whole remaining of the wall um, yeah I mean since I'm doing this shit I would rather do it spend more time on it and do it proper than just you know, doing a crap job, a bread job. Aye. So yeah, that's it with the floor off. Okay. It might rain at one o'clock. So, um, yeah. But that's how it is without the, the floor on. I'm gonna attempt to remove this if I can. Well, I will have to remove this and see how it's fastened to what. There is a part of the chassis here, a metal part, so I'm guessing that's where these bolts are bolted into. Yeah, so this is how it is without two floor panels off. I'll take that one off also. Because what I want to do is run the wires proper, go to a place called Selco and buy some some shit that I need. Uh, yeah, clean it properly and just you know start putting the wall in. Uh, I thought, ah, fucking dogs! I thought how to uh, run the wires up. So somewhere here there'll be a wardrobe thingy so I'm just gonna leave a channel so I can have access to wires going up and down and this way I can just go on and do the walls because right now it looks like nothing is finished everything is started and it's annoying yeah uh, there were some wires ran on the underside the only wire that I think I'm gonna run like that is the 240 wire from there. It's gonna run like that or like that. Wait! It's gonna run like this next to this one. From the front there <laughs> to the back somewhere here. What's up, dogs? What's up, dogs? Right, so a couple of hours passed, I removed the whole floor. <coughs> I've trimmed the excess there, and there, and there. But the problem I have is that the more I work on this caravan, the, the more it's uh, deemed hopeless in my mind. But I'm too far in to quit or let it go. So um, what I did was I scooped off all the rotten wood from here because you see the whole caravan sits on this side right on this side and on that side that's the whole caravan support the sides and they were pretty rotten this wood so this wood bit here that sits on the chassis there supports this wall see just by that if I pull this off there it might just fall here it is it's falling so what I have to do is put another piece of wood here and screw it in and then screw the wood here, stick it. I 
wasn't planning on doing this.